When you're feeling sad and depressed, we live in a world full of people who want to reach their goals. Everybody wants to compete, everybody wants to win. These individuals are those who don't get satisfied easily. Some of them could control their behaviors, some of them couldn't control their behaviors. Some of them could control their minds and some of them couldn't control their minds. The majority of people want to be unstoppable. They want to be invincible. The majority of people want to be known. The majority of the people want to be noticed. They want to be in the front row always and they want to defeat others who prevent their wills to win. I'm talking about material competition, something that you could see, something that could last only for a moment. We could name all these material competitions. What are the majority of people competing for? Good career, position, they compete to buy new houses, bigger houses, mansion, castle. They compete for money, titles, relations, friends. We are human beings. We need basic needs of living. The church supports us to always be productive and work. We must feed ourselves and help other people. Unfortunately, there are unhealthy ambitions to get all these material things. And when these ambitions reach the standard of living and exceed the standard or go over the standard of living, it becomes greediness, avarice, drunkenness, gluttony, and it could be perversion. It could turn into evil desires and it could trap somebody. How big is a population of a continent? How big is the population of a country? How big is a population in a city? How big is the population in a region? And how big is the population that we have in a suburb? Are there 700 million people living in a continent right now? Are there 300 million people living in a country? Are there 10 million people living in a city right now? Are there 1 million people living in a region right now? Let us think about 700 million people who want to reach their ambitions to be number one. Think about the desire to compete from all these individuals. If all of them are trying to feed their ego, then what will happen? War happens, dispute happens, confrontation happens, anything could clash. First, we must understand what is the cause of our sadness. What is the reason of our sadness? Is it because we don't get what we want? Let us focus on this particular reason, not getting the material things that we want to get. Let us consider that we are healthy and we have no disability. We have a job, we have friends, we went to college maybe, and we are disappointed because we couldn't get this certificate to boost our career or we couldn't buy this um, material thing, this mansion, this... I don't know anything that you could say that anything that you could see you couldn't buy that or you couldn't afford what you dream of the answer to cure this sadness is to be grateful on what we have we must write down the list of everything that we could have and enjoy the the blessings that God has given us we must write down all of it and we could smile again, of course, if we think about it. Now let us talk about the next reason. Why are we feeling sad? Why do you feel sad? Did you get hurt? Did you get offended? One million people in your city have their own goals and they have their own mind now. They have their, their own ways to uh, achieve their goals. They could only think about themselves probably and you couldn't we couldn't control their words we couldn't control their minds their emotions we couldn't change their behaviors like in one night for example 
what we could do is that we could change ourselves we could control our minds we could control our emotions so we could hold our tongue we we could hold our anger we could only tell others that okay your behaviors are going to face these consequences and it will affect this condition or that situation and if they still choose to disrespect us to keep doing what they want to do then what could we expect from them saint teresa of avila said if they disrespect god who always give everything they need then why do we expect other people to respect us this constant battle in a society will always exist and we couldn't control other people's minds or behaviors the best thing we could do is to tell them and give them information about the regulation the norms the moral etiquette and so on if we cry for our sins if we are sad for our sins if we cry for it and we have that big regret that we fail to obey God's commandments then it's a good sign that our heart is changing and St. John Vianney said it's like a rain for the soul it's okay to shed tears it will give nutrition for your soul it is a sign that we realize the mistakes that we did it is a sign that we fully regret the sins that we committed against anyone it is a sign that we want to fix ourselves and we want to change our life we want to be a blessing for others it is a sign that we want to say yes to god's invitation to repent and just stop sinning it is a sign of relief it is a sign that okay we must let go of the past behind us and we must move forward continue to be kind even if others are not kind to us it is a sign that we want to receive the hopes that are coming from god if we cry and it leads us to depression then we must take a moment for a while and think again we must ponder something important what is the cause of this sadness why are we depressed so why do we say that we're depressed depression is a sign that we lose hope on anything and depression is not for anybody depression is a sign that we doubt god's power to save us from this evil trap that plays with our emotions and minds all the time let us not doubt god's power to give us a second chance to return us into a better situation a better position a better condition let us not doubt god's power to wipe our tears let us not doubt god's power to give us the strength to survive let us not doubt god's power to help us to pray let us not doubt god's power to make us virtuous god never says that he will make it easier for us he promises that he will give us strength to endure the process of becoming a good person god promises that he will give us strength to endure the process of creating that tenacity discipline and fortitude he will be with us until the end of time if we fail in doing something it's okay it's okay to fail it's a time for us to learn and to have that experience if we fail then we could try again slowly we could start over and doing it step by step consistently and never say yes to fear let us never say yes to fear let us be brave and strive to do good morals strive to do all our activities in the right way let us do all our activities with honesty integrity consistency and let us do it full of dedication let us have that commitment to grow and stay motivated because our god is the living god if you are sad right now take a deep breath and think of god's blessings in your life start counting them let us create an explosion of gratefulness let us do it one day at a time let us create an explosion of thanksgiving a priest once told me to write down 300 blessings 
300 things that we could say I am grateful for this. He even said that be thankful for the sandals or shoes that you wear today. If you are sad today, please remember that God's protection is always there for you and me, for us all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find this video really helpful for you. And um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up, and please join Patreon so that um, Rosa Mystic channel, Rosam channel can um, make a bigger project. Like maybe we can do some pre big pilgrimages and we can um, do other big projects. We could cover the history of the saints. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And many Padres had Spiritus Santi. Amen.